what is up everyone this is Motorola here and today i'm going to show you the best way to update your intel drivers so interestingly enough a lot of your intel driver softwares that you have or drivers that you have on your computer they usually need to be updated and a lot of people don't know actually how to update them so that's why a lot of like with these uh, antivirus software like programs they tell you like hey pay us an extra x dollars a year and we'll do it for you the, usually that's how the free ones usually get money out of you <laughs> avast does this a lot there's a lot of other ones i think norton antivirus maybe does it as well there's a couple that do this now there's actually most of these drivers specifically intel there's actually an easy way to do this and i'm actually going to show you how so before let me just actually put it over here so the they actually have a driver and support assistant that you can download on your pc itself it literally does a run every other day or every hour or something of the sort where it knows when there's an update available for your pc and it tells you which device and driver it's for and it literally does it for you you can see this is like my basically my system itself it has all my audio network memory storage graphics and processor and it tells me which one needs or doesn't need an update and it does it for me so you can see over here there's one software update available it's for my wireless bluetooth system for the windows 10 for my windows 10 and i can literally just update this driver and it'll essentially update it bada bing bada boom you're done <laughs> that's literally it there's so many i remember before finding this when i finally found it i was like oh my god and there were so many drivers that did an update and again it's just not a windows function where the windows does it for you it's not like a mac ecosystem where everything just works because mac just updates everything windows is a little bit weird you gotta figure stuff out yourself hence why a lot of people usually don't like windows and when people move windows to mac they tend to not come back because of those reasons you have to be a little bit techy to figure out what's happening and it's not that bad like i said these videos like my, i'm making myself that's the whole point to give this knowledge to people that you can do something like this and install it and be good to go you don't have to go crazy or pay support or pay these companies to do it for you because they're giving me that ease of access for money which you can to a certain degree be able to figure it out yourself as well um so yeah you you can literally just download it here it'll download it, it'll install it might tell you to restart your computer but again you'll have the latest driver version up installed on your computer uh so yeah that's <laughs> basically yeah just wanted to make a quick video showing you you can actually do this um if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification button and that more tutorials out peace